Chris? Yeah. Good. All right, we're going to take questions now for Nate Clifton. Nate, talk about your interception in the second quarter. Obviously, that required a lot of athleticism. And what was your thought process in that play? I wouldn't even say it was due to athleticism. It was just doing my job. I went 11th. And the ball actually just happened to pop in my hands. I'm not, I'm not mad at it at all. I'll take the interception. My first ever one, literally ever. But it was just doing my job, and the receiver happened to fumble it. Or I'm not sure who was in coverage right there, but just popped into my hands, and I'll, I'll take the interception as we get it. After that first drive by them, what do you think you guys did better against that right game? We just woke up. They were punching us in the mouth. Their tempo was getting us going. Um, we were luckily able to hold them only to three, but we just woke up. They ran it down our throats. They were getting whatever they really wanted, and it just took us collaboration coming together and knowing that we're better than that, and we, I believe we showed that afterwards. How big is it going to be to, like, it sounds like you guys are going to get these guys back on the defensive line for next week. How big will that be to have more of a full group? Yeah, we'll definitely have more experienced guys. Darren Agu coming back, he was had a great camp. Um, he was playing really well for us, and he was really starting. So happy to get him back on the lines, adding more depth. Really, everyone in our room can play, has the potential to play. But obviously, adding someone of his caliber will be uh, very, very helpful with us going forward. Anything else, guys? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.